Hello everyone and welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Brother Asana David. Welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. This is a platform set up for teaching godly sexuality. In case you are new, subscribe to my YouTube channel, BS Purity TV, and follow me on all our social media platform, Biblical Sexual Purity. I have a revelation I want to share with us. It is about soul tie. Some of us don't actually know what soul tie is. Uh, it can be positive, it can be negative. A soul tie is a spiritual union, is a relationship, is a union, spiritual one, and also it has a psychological effect too that arises as a result of having carnal kind of knowledge of someone, I mean through sexual union. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 that therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they two shall become one flesh. Becoming one flesh is as a result of having a sexual relationship. Sex is spiritual. I did a video some time ago which is on my YouTube channel BS Purity TV where I explain why sex is spiritual. I've also written an article on it, Sex is Spiritual. Uh, you can go and read it for yourself on my website. When two people have a sexual relationship, they become one flesh. This is one of the reasons the Bible says that there should be nothing like fornication or adultery among you because uh, it defiles the body. We are spiritual beings. We are the body. We have the body, but we also have the soul and the spirit living inside the human body. So there are things that we can do that can actually cause spiritual defilement. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 15 to 18 says, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ, Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an allot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an allot is one body? For two, seeth he shall be one flesh. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinneth against his own body. So, when someone has a sexual relationship, they become one flesh. It's not that their bodies become glued together, but they become one flesh spiritually. This is what God actually created. I'm going to do another video where I'm going to explain very clearly what soul tie is. Share the link, share the description box, you will see a link to my website on what soul tie is so let's let me go straight to the vision that i had in this vision i saw uh, a bunch of people uh people i call them bunch of people because they were all naked and they were like uh a bunch of leeches they were um just like a bunch of people you know when you tie bunch of sticks when you tie sticks together to form a bunch this was what i saw a bunch of people but uh, they were all naked and they were having sex at first when i saw when i saw them i thought they were having a group sex but no it wasn't a group one and i discovered that each person was concentrating on their partner and it was like they were not concerned about the other people, what the other people were doing. They were just fo focusing as if they were just alone, but they were not alone. There were so many. One thing that the Lord drew my attention to was that their bodies were all connected. They were all connected to each other. And the Lord told me, uh, after I had a revelation, He told me that, this is how it is for those who have sex outside my laws. They shall be held accountable because they rob, they rob me of my 
temple which is your body. This is what the Lord told me. And the Lord so gave me one warning. I know the Lord gave me that warning because a lot of times I hesitate to pass some of the messages he gave me. You know, a lot of people don't actually uh, handle this topic, this topic of teaching people godly sexuality, godly sexuality and also uh, bringing out the true standard of uh, of God as far as marriage and sex is concerned. A lot of ministers shy away from it. So it's kind of still new to me. Uh, you understand what I mean? It's not a usual topic. You just go on the pulpit and start telling people repent or the Lord bless you. It's more than, much more than that. There's so much pressure from the world so that we can so that we'll keep quiet and nobody will say anything about it and everybody will do what they like even in the church so the lord gave me this warning he told me speak to correct these people if you keep quiet i shall hold you accountable because keeping silence is as sinful as teaching the wrong thing that if i know what is right and i keep quiet i don't correct these ills in the church and in the society if i don't speak up is going to hold me accountable too and i want to beg you please stay away from sexual immorality sex is dangerous it is holy it is fire the bible says can a man put fire in his bosom and not be burnt if you take fire from the kitchen to your bedroom is going to destroy you that is how sex is you don't take sex out of the marital bed the bible says that the bed is holy it should be undefiled when you defile it there are repercussions there are uh there are uh repercussions there are consequences now the revelation i had this vision you see the lord told me the way the meaning the lord gave to me he had to give me explanation that the way i saw the people connected to one another that is how sex makes people to be linked to one another now a soul tie is a spiritual union the bible says when a man and a woman unite together they become one flesh whosoever you have a canon knowledge of Whosoever you sleep with becomes a part of your body, a part of you forever. Uh, some of you think sex is just a spiritual, it's just a physical exercise, just for pleasure, it's just for, uh, uh, an, it's just an expression of love, it's just for procreation, reproducing children. It is much more than that. It is spiritual too. So when, for instance, when Mr. A has sex with me, with uh, Mrs. B, they become one flesh. When, and it doesn't end there. Whosoever Mrs. B has slept with is connected to Mr. A. A, and whosoever Mr. A has slept with is connected to Mr. B, uh, to Mrs. B. And whosoever that slept with anybody that has slept with Mr. A is connected to whosoever that Mrs. B sleeps with. You, you see, it's like, it's, it's a very complex thing. So when one person sleeps with a prostitute, you are connected to the thousands of people that have slept with that prostitute. That is how soul tie works. And it's, it, you, I, it, you, you create confusion for your own soul and for your spirit. The Bible advocates sex in marriage and not outside marriage. Not before marriage, not outside marriage, but in marriage alone. I am doing this video to one as many that will listen. If you have sex outside marriage or you think you are, in, you are not married, you can have sex with anybody you want, you are destroying your own soul. You are connecting yourself with people that you have never even met in life any day. 
This is a message. Please obey, fear God, and keep His commandments. Visit my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. God bless you. Once again, I'm Brother Zena David. Share this video. Bye-bye.